My king, greetings. You don't look cheerful. What is wrong? Is it about the issue on ground? I think we should talk about it. Woman, I am in no mood for discussion right now. You may leave. But your Majesty... I said leave! of my forefathers. What is my reign done in it? <laughs> Honestly, Father, I am I am impressed with the story behind my name. Oh yes, you should be. <laughs> Everyone should actually be. <laughs> you know, uh, your birth reminds me of my father. You are an exact replica of him. <laughs> well, um, what do I say? <laughs> I'm honored to hear that, Father. And you know the funny thing? When you were growing up, you were an exact opposite of him. Oh, yes. When he was alive, you liked the things he disliked. Mm -hmm. He loved animals, especially cats. But you, you know the rest. <laughs> Oh, okay, Father. Thanks for that story. But most importantly, I'd like to know about the customs and tradition of my people. You know, I just got back. I, I don't know anything. It's necessary that I learn everything from you. Of course you should know that. That shouldn't be a problem for me. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime you want to seek any clarification about the way we do things, just come to me. Ask. Uh, Let you know. <laughs> I knew I could always count on you, Father. You're welcome. All right, Dad. I have to go and rest. I'll see you at dinner. Okay, then. See you then. All right, Dad. Mm -hmm. My king, my father. See you later. <laughs> ah, my father. All right, Dad. See you at dinner. Go and call me Ezebu. The king is seated and he would glad to see you. Please come in. No, I want to speak with him here and now. Greetings, mouthpiece of the gods. I was wondering why you did not want to come into the company. I have a message for you from the gods. I knew you were not going to come here without a reason. Every message from the gods is welcome. Please, let's go in. It's not necessary. So what is this message? It's time the next king be pronounced. Uh, Leave us. The heir to the throne must be presented to the gods for approval. This is good news and it's coming in good time too. I was actually wondering why the gods had not spoken all this while. They speak when they like. In seven days time, the ritual will be performed. Very well then. I shall put every machinery in motion to ensure a successful crowning. Good. Do as you said. Is it? Gods of our land, 
This is good news. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You know, just as I was about losing my head, the gods showed me that they are still the gods of this great land. I am so delighted. <laughs> you know, Igwe, I think you should fix a date for us to have an elaborate dinner to celebrate this your newfound happiness. <laughs> Indeed, your happiness is the happiness of everyone in this palace. Oh, certainly. <laughs> what is going on here? Did I miss anything? Oh, my beautiful daughter, Adesa. Please sit, grab a glass. Thank you. <laughs> Rather, please. Of course. Mm. <laughs> so, I have the right to know what is going on, right? Oh, yes. Um, I have finally have peace of mind. I mean, Isimor came here and uh, told me that the gods have declared the heir to the throne. <laughs> what that means is that very soon your brother will be the coming king. Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> Congratulations! I am super proud of you. <laughs> I'm happy because it came right on time. Yes. I was almost questioning the gods. <laughs> I'm very, very happy. And I cannot way to be presented as the coming king. Huh? <laughs> you know what? As a woman, I'm really tired of waiting for you to fix a date for this dinner. So I'm going right away to meet with the cook to let them know what they should prepare. Hmm? Oh, look. My angel. Mother. Yes, Joe. Okay, mother. Go, go and do whatever you want to do. I hold you just eat. Congratulations! Congratulations! Your Majesty! Your Majesty! <laughs> All Majesty! Oh, get away! Son, yes, I am so proud of you. I am happy. You have now entered a new phase of your life. The phase of men behind the men. Thank you very much, Father. I promise I won't let you down. I think we should go and see the SM more and hear from him. And why would you say that? Are we supposed to be preparing our mind towards an occasion as elevated as presentation at the secret of the Afakalugu kingdom without hearing from the SM more? I don't know why you like to bother yourself over things that are not important at all. What are you saying? The SM more himself spoke to the king. And the king has told us what the man said. Why should we still go back and, and hear from the man? Why? What? Are you not telling me that the office of the owner of this kingdom is so compromised that you don't hear from the king without verification whether it's right or wrong? And, and, and it goes. Hey, listen, listen. Is your Bala? You are just smuggling in politics into this. And I'm going to ask you here and now to stop. The SMO has spoken and the, the king has communicated. Listen, we are going to gather in that ancient to be for the presentation. Right before the staff, if anybody has told a lie, we will find out. If anybody has told the truth, we are going to find out on the same staff. It is not for you and I to sit here and discuss. It is for the gods. So I will advise you to just keep quiet. Are you ready? Yes, is a more I'm ready. This is water. I personally fetched it from the stream of Akalu. Wash your hands to be connected to the spirit of our ancestors. Be purified to hold your form for the declaration. Go ahead. <laughs> That brings us to the end of this process. Go and tell the king that the rights 
were unsuccessful. Presentation disrupted and declaration aborted. Uh, Ezema, please. Are you possibly going to leave here without explaining to us what just happened? Go and tell the king what I've just said. What can you email? Your Majesty, it was not a good outing at all. How do you mean? The chief priest did not show up or what? Oh yes, the chief priest was there. But the problem is, your son, the prince, was unable to even start the process that will lead to the lifting of the offer. I beg your pardon. Oh no. What did you just say? My queen, we are just as surprised as you are. What happened back there, uh, to the best of our knowledge, has never happened before. There was this strange force that made the prince to fall to the ground. In the process, he spilled the water from the sacred calabash. And then the chief priest asks us that we should come back and tell you one year ago, that the, the rite was unsuccessful. The presentation has been disrupted. And the declaration aborted. Somebody should just tell me that this is a joke. Well, Your Majesty, it is not a joke. It happened right before our eyes. Even your son here, the prince, I am sure, he is more surprised than we are. Uh, the the, the more uh, may be the only person who can explain what happened. We don't know. I am not ordering you to speak because I cannot order the gods. But I'm worried. What happened today has never happened before. Has it anything to do with me? Have I deviated from the rules a priest must keep? I'm ready to reconcile with that sentence of Akalugo kingdom. Or has it anything to do with the young man? I need a sass. Look me in the eye and tell me what you have done. I don't understand. I didn't do anything. I mean, I've not done anything. So, why did you allow the content of the calabash spill on the ground? I need explanations myself. The moment I held that board, I felt some strange force throw me off balance. I didn't understand what happened. What is all this? Why is all this happening in my time? I should have known that something was wrong when the gods kept delaying this pronouncement. What are you saying? How does that got to do with me? Listen, son. I know that I played my role well as a father. I brought you up properly. I guided you. That's what the father is supposed to do for the son. I did everything. What does that imply? What are you insinuating, father? Everything went bad immediately. You dipped your hand into that sacred water that was fetched by the priest himself from the sacred stream of Akalugo. That brings me to ask you, are you sure you do not have blood stains on those hands? Really? Oh, Father. How can you? 
you say such? I had no option, son. I had to think far and deep. I need answers. And every side must be visited. Answers, son. As a mom, I came back because something tells me you will be able to speak to me now that the other elders are not here. That you will be able to tell me exactly what happened here today. Yeah? I've been trying to get information from the gods, but I've not said anything. As a more, you have to try. Try and get information from the gods. Because the news of what happened here today has spread like wildfire across the kingdom. People are calling me. They want to know exactly what happened. And I don't know what I'm going to tell them. So if they call me, what will I be saying? The gods speak when they decide. As of now, they have not said anything. So you need to tell those who are calling you what I said. But as a more, you know how delicate this issue is. If they are asking questions from the Yonu, and the Yonu who is not saying anything, there is the likelihood that they will interpret that to mean that the Yonu who is hiding something. Don't know, man. Oh no. Do not put yourself in a position where you speak for the gods when they have not told you anything. The gods are not men. They can strike. Tell them to be relaxed. Eventually the gods will speak to us. And they will tell us what they said. I know the ways of the gods. They don't just strike like that. He must have done something. He must have committed something that provoked what happened. Woman, talk to him. Let him open up now and tell us what he has done before it is too late. But, my lord, why don't you invite the it's just a suggestion. Why don't you invite the Ezemo? Let him come and clarify everything instead of jumping into conclusions. I mean, we brought him up well. We brought him up to live an upright life. My king, there is more to this that meets the eye. I'm not insinuating anything, but I think the SMO should be able to tell us what is going on. He is the eye of the gods. Let him see what he can do to bring us out of this mess. Greetings, Father. Ah, oh, greetings. What brings you to my presence? 
Can I have a word that you follow? So now I am not in the mood to listen to anything you have to say right now. You believe? I don't understand. Why are you so bitter towards me? What have I done? Is it my fault that the gods and ancestors have decided to mess things up for us? You are still my father. And we shouldn't let certain things come between us. You see, that is the problem with you. You do not understand. It's not about certain things coming between us. The issue borders on the core existence of royalty. And part. the chief priest will sort it out when he would. Please, Father, can we continue to live our normal lives? For the last time you came before me, I want to be left alone. It's obvious you're not in a good frame of mind. I'll come back when you're better. Come in. Greetings, my queen. The president of Umwada is here to see you. You need to reschedule the meeting. I am not in the right frame of mind to see anyone. Extend my sincere apology to her, okay? All right, my queen. So I can go and see her. Actually, Ma, you cannot. Why? Makagini, did you tell her the person standing here? Muabu Chief Mrs. Claron Ibezim Ijelen Wine, President Umwada Union. Why will she keep me waiting? Makagini? She asked me to apologize to you. She cannot see you now. Hey! I suggest you go and come back. Eh? Hey. Ijele eta ga ofu. Ijele It's not your fault. Is it? It's my father. That man is beginning to piss me off. Watch your utterances. Father, will you blame me? After what happened at Yobi, he has refused to treat me nice. He's been cold towards me. I've tried to initiate a decent conversation with him, but he wouldn't act like a father. Is it not enough to piss one off? Well, Sam, you need to give him time. What happened the other day wasn't what we were all expecting. We thought that by now we would be celebrating. Well, that brings me to an important question because no one is explaining anything to me. What is this process all about? Well, I believe your father must have briefed you about the throne. You see, son, the offer of our Kalugo kingdom is not ordinary. For you to be a custodian, you must be chosen by the gods. So son, you need to come down and let us get to the root of this. God, how the hell did I come from this backward kingdom where men still talk about gods and ancestors? Really? Excuse me? What did you just say? I am sorry, mother, but, but I am sick and tired of this old traditional bullshit. I am an international man, a one-time president of the student union in a reputable university in Europe. 
I cannot be forced into a tradition of secrecy where things will go wrong and men will not talk about it or admit it. Excuse me, Mom. You know what? He is not interested in the gods. Neither is he interested in the ancestors. And we want him to be the king. Could this be the reason he was not able to pass through the ritual? I want to know the reason behind this ancient process. Since Ikemefuna is the first son, it automatically gives him the right to succeed father. Well, your brother cannot succeed your father if he does not go through the ritual. It's just a process that will let the whole people know that he is not just man enough, but worthy of becoming the king. If he's able to lift the offer, that means he has a pure heart and that his hands are clean. Hmm. All these are part of the reasons they silenced the tradition. Mother, there are some unexpected checks and balances everywhere. Now you're talking, but I don't know why the process failed. Maybe something related to the gods. Why did you say that? Mother, look at it this way. Ikemefuna is too decent to do something to offend the gods. There must be a reason the process failed. And whatever that reason is or was, it has nothing to do with Ikemefuna, mother. You might have a point there. But I have not seen the Ezemo in the palace to know what to do. Mother, whatever they are doing, they should do it fast because Ikemefuna is losing it gradually. He is losing it. Are you ready? Yes, Ezemo, I am ready. This is water. I personally fetched it from the stream of Agalo. Wash your hands to be connected to the spirit of our ancestors. Be purified to hold your form for the declaration. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That brings us to the end of this process. Go on and tell the king that the rites were unsuccessful. I'm sure I didn't do anything. Why is this crashing in my hands? What's up, bro? Are you good? How can I be good with all that is happening in this palace? Why is everyone making it look as if I'm the cause of the problem? My brother, you need to be calm and understand is our tradition as a people. As someone who will assume the position of the king, you need to learn to respect tradition of the land. And I'll tell you the white old mom. I don't like the tradition. In fact, I'm not comfortable with it. I'd rather go back to Europe where I belong. Continue my life from where I start. What are you talking about? You want to go back to Europe? Who are you leaving your breath right For whoever is ready to tolerate this traditional bullshit. Can you just stop? Stop and do what? The process is not successful. What am I doing here? Stay back. Worship those classless men that call themselves the council? I'd rather go and live my life. Okay, just calm down. The tension is really high. I believe something positive will come out from this. Please. To whom it may concern, I am going back to Europe to live my life. Oh, son. Mama, we're so happy and you have made us proud. 
Honestly, I am really impressed with all I have seen. You see, I have no other choice than to make the both of you proud. You see, it's because of you both that my dream of being a civil engineer has been achieved. So, I'm happy. <laughs> Thanks, man. You see, son, you see, we like your determination and passion. You did the whole work. Uh, we only did what we expected of us as parents, uh, which is to give you a good guard. We are glad that you listened to us. <laughs> We are happy with the money you have come. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Mom, once again. I'm very happy. For the fact that you're happy, I'm happy. Both of you, you are all I have in this world. So anytime you're happy, I'm happy. Oh. I want to see those beautiful smiles on your faces <laughs> all the time. Always. Thanks so much, Dad. That's OK, son. We are so happy you are back. Mm. Enough of all this. Food is ready. Oh, the table is set, so good. I thought as much, you know, uh, the sweet aroma hits me. Oh, there's in here. I can't wait for you now. I'll always give you the best. <laughs> I am troubled, and my mind is not at rest. What troubles you, my king? Is the more you speak as if you do not know. What exactly is happening? I have not heard any words from you since after the failed process. My son, I want to know why my son has been rejected by the gods. I know your fears, but I will tell you what I have discovered. What is it? Your son, he came in now. Is not the right person who will succeed you. Listen, I am confused. Are, are you trying to tell me that the gods are planning on taking kingship away from my family? Not at all. Not at all. The next heir to the throne will come from your family. From your lines. Hmm. Isimo, that will automatically mean that uh, the gods will now allow a woman reign in Akalugo Kingdom. That would be good for my daughter, Adese. Right from birth, she has always shown signs of class and maturity. It would be good. She will make a very good king, I presume. Those are your imaginations. And you are permitted to imagine things. The next heir to the throne will be a boy. And he will come from your royal family. You are making this administration more difficult for me. My only son has been rejected by the gods. So who is this son you refer to? Coming from my loins, who? Ezebube. In the sacredness of Ubiumbako, of Akalugo kingdom, I've delivered my message from the gods. The next heir to the throne will come from your loins. And this is the verdict of the gods. And there's nothing we can do about it. What you just said is very confusing to me. That's exactly what he said. That the heir to the throne must be a male child from my wife. Who is not Ikemefuna. Because Ikemefuna has been rejected by the gods. Oh yes, I can't believe this. What you are saying is not sounding like what the priest of Akalugo will say. Did you hear from him straight? He did not just say it. He said it sitting in his obi and in his capacity as a priest. So what other truth are we going to play? <laughs> Your Majesty, you may not understand why I am laughing. Because somehow, I think I have managed to understand what the priest was saying to you. Huh? <laughs> you have just two children. Mm -hmm. Princess Adeze and Ikemefu. And Ikemefu. Mm -hmm. Who you just confirmed, you know it yourself that the gods have rejected him from being king in Akalugo Kingdom. And the Princess Adeze, being a woman, cannot be a king in Akalugo. Onyeze, what the priest was trying to tell you is that you need to pick another wife who will produce that son that will sit on the throne after you. Nkeji <laughs> Zogar. I was not thinking in that direction. Oh, that is why two good hairs are better than one. <laughs> I wasn't thinking that way. 
the gods did not make you <coughs> by chance. Evil will come wherever. So, Your Majesty, now that we have managed to unmask what the priest was saying, and now that I have your permission, should I proceed to gather only the beautiful maidens of our Kaluga kingdom for you to make a choice? Oh no. Oh no. I am a king. I do not rush into decisions. Age could be break. Let's hold on. It's okay. But a new wife beckons. It will surely come to pass, but let us wait. What is it, woman? Have I not made it clear to you that I don't want to be disturbed by this issue? My king, with all due respect, I am your wife. No matter what, we are family. I learned the Ezema was here earlier today. What did he say? Whatever he says is not something I want to discuss with you. We're talking about my son here. What makes you think I do not have the right to know what concerns my son? There you go again. Every time you're talking about your son, your son, your son, as if it's the very submission of everything. Am I missing something here, my king? What is on ground concerns him. Everything revolves around him. And we must discuss it. Unfortunately. It is no longer about him. It has gone beyond him. He was rejected by the gods in the presence of the elders in cancer. Now, the issue is about the future of the kingdom. What is going on? Father, what is wrong with mother? I'm sure you came here to discuss something with me. What is it? Father, the chemistry I met is not good. What is wrong with our mother? You know, my heart is troubled. I sense that already. I mean, for you to follow me back to my house means that something is wrong somewhere. Now, Queen, are you going to talk to me? What is the problem? Oh no. I've been kept in the dark for too long. I decided not to complain so that I can avoid anybody thinking I'm too forward. But. I think I've reached the climax of my tolerance, oh no. Hmm. My queen, that is a very strong language you employed. Why will you say a thing like that? Oh no. I want to know the reason the gods rejected my son. As the king has refused to say anything about it, is you know also going to turn me down? I believe the king must have said something. What exactly did the king say? Nothing. He has not said anything to me. My queen, is it possible for you to restrain yourself from dabbling into things that are connected with the gods of Akalugo kingdom? But oh no, it is my son we are talking about here. I think I have the right to know something that concerns my son. I agree, 100%. Ah. Uh, but you need to understand that the issue here is not just about your son. We are talking something that is connected to the core value of our Kalungo kingdom itself. And I am thinking you should go home. Wait for your husband because he is going to speak when the need arises. My husband, the king, has refused to say anything. And I'm tired of Keeping quiet. So tired of being in the dark. So as a more, I have come to know why the ritual that would have shown that my son is actually the heir to the throne failed. With all due respect, my queen, that is the reason I have not asked you to sit. I have nothing to discuss with you now. You have something to discuss with me. I mean, we are talking about my son here. Your son is not the issue here. The issue here about the throne. And my son is the heir to the throne. How can you be talking about the throne without my son being a part of it? That is the reason 
our ancestors ruled that women must not participate in masquerade practices. This is not masquerade. It is my son. Uh, nothing. Anything that has to do with the gods or the throne or the affairs of the kingdom must be discussed with the king and the cabinet. I have nothing to discuss with you. Excuse me, Ezemo. Are you now saying that my position as the queen of this kingdom is not recognized by you? With all due respect, you remain the queen of the kingdom. But I have nothing to discuss with you. Go. Once again, thank you all for honoring this meeting. I called you all to let you know that I'll be going back to Europe. What? Why, son? I'm trying my best to find a solution to this problem. Why would you take such a brash decision? Well, mother, I... I thought it was going to work, but obviously it's not. Um, I left everything, my career, school, everything, to come back here thinking this whole traditional thing work, but it's not working. So instead of staying here doing nothing, I'd rather go back to where I came from. Is that what you want? Sis, I thought we discussed this already. Well, I think as an educated person, my decision should be respected. Of course it should be respected. If that is what you want to do, fine. If going back to Austria will make you feel good, please, I, you have my full support. Ah, thank you. Listen, son, you shouldn't be so hard on yourself. We have many great men in our society who have achieved a lot and have impacted many lives without being king. Just cannot be different. Listen, in this particular case, there is nothing I can do. This is tradition, and we must follow through with tradition. Anything we do contrary to tradition will be wrong and it will not all go well for us or the family. I love you so much. And I'm sure you know that. And in as much as um, I would like you to stay back, but I need to allow you to explore. Go out there and be a better person. Be the best in your field. Make us proud. So, concerning your decision to go back to Austria, you have my blessings. Thank you very much, Dad. May the gods go with you. Thank you very much. You will succeed. Yeah. Thank you, Dad. When are you going back? I'm leaving in five days. What? That's too sudden. Mother, let the young man be. I am here with you, okay? <laughs> Please, I'm a full-grown young man. I have seen life, and when I make a decision, I expect everyone to stand by, to respect it. I am going back to Europe. Son, why do you want to go? Why don't you just stay and establish here? You came all the way from Austria to settle down. Where are you living? Is it because of the throne? Mother, you know I have never been obsessed about the throne. I am going back to Europe to build my career with friends of many years. One thing I'll show you, Mother. I'll surely make you proud. You've always made me proud, son. Thank you so much, Mother. Make sure you stay out of trouble. I will. I'll miss you, Mom. I love you. I love you. My golden mom. Make sure you call me every day. I will. You call too. I'll call you. I of the gods. We are here for more clarification. We can no fold our hands in confusion and allow events go on the way they are going. Since the ugly incident happened, we've not had a word from you. Many people are already saying many things and we wonder where is the future of our kingdom? What is the unknown? 
we are men in council. And we have come to make inquiries about our kingdom. Are you saying if we did not bring the Onowu along that we cannot do that? No, I have not said that. And you know I cannot say it. You people have to go home and put your minds at rest. The next heir will still come from the family of Ezebebe. When the time comes, the gods will reveal to us who the heir is. Because they are still in total control of the affairs of this kingdom. Bro, I am really going to miss you. And I am going to miss you too. It's just that I don't know when I'll be coming back to this land. I don't understand. You're sounding like you're never going to come back. I mean, of what use is it? Imagine a kingdom this beautiful and yet still believe in ancient things like ancestors, gods, I'm way beyond that. Uh, well, you wouldn't blame them. That, I mean, that's what they know. It's working for them. Mm -hmm. I keep working for them. I'm not interested. Can we help? Anyways, don't, don't forget us, okay? Personally, I am going to miss you. Just keep in touch, all right? For you every damn video, I promise. Promise. I am going to give you the gist in full if anything comes up. Trust me. I know me. you. You always do gist. <laughs> <laughs> We're close to the airport, though. I just can't wait. Nine. Really? Yes, really. <laughs> My career is waiting for me in Europe. I can't just be here and then I'll be talking ancestors, gods, calabash. Cow. It's fine. Hello. It's fine. I'm talking about, you know. I know. I don't explain to him. I don't explain to him. You are not looking at me. No, no, no. 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 But, yes. But if you look at the whole situation, mm -hmm. we may be tempted to believe that there's a conspiracy. But I see it differently. How do you see it? Do you mean we will not go and confront the no on what he possibly discussed with the priest? If we do that, it will look like we are ganging up against your new and the king. Mm -hmm. And that will not be good for our kingdom in the long run. Yes. From what the priest presented and his body chemistry, what we will know that they already seem themselves as more men than us. We need to go to the Onowu and make a statement. I don't agree with you, Ichi Mbanefu, I'm sorry. Two wrongs can never make a right. Ichi Odosio Boto. Yes. You have to confront the wrong. To get the right being done, that is what we will do. You really have to calm down, Ichi Mbanefu. If we join them in overheating our kingdom, this will lead us into chaos. And you know we are not prepared for it. I'm talking to you. My angel. Mother. I didn't know you were back from seeing your brother off already. Mother, you were having your rest, so I didn't want to disturb you. Honestly, I don't know why Kemefuna should leave. I wanted him to stay and settle down here. Mother, you know he came. He will never do that. And I support him. Yes. I know that he will make us proud. You know your son. He's very hardworking and he's ambitious. I know. So, mother, have you managed to find out why the process failed? No, I have not. Maybe becoming a king is not part of his destiny. Or the gods might probably have something better for him. Really? Mm -hmm. Something better than succeeding his father? Adezel, let us just wait and see as events unfold. Okay, mommy. Your Majesty, is your brother came to me earlier today to inform me of their decision to go and see the chief priest. Why do they want to go and see the chief priest? To make inquiries. They want to know where the future of the kingdom lies. 
So what did you tell them? Well, they wanted me to go with them, but I declined. I told them that I, I have a business appointment with a friend, which cannot be cancelled. Well, their intentions are clear, and they are doing what they are supposed to do as elders and council. So I don't have any problem with that. But don't you say, let me shock you. They left that place in anger. Why? Uh, because the priest asked them to go home. He asked them to go back to their houses and allow the gods to continue and end what they started. <laughs> but did he tell them that the heir to the throne will still come from anoint? Exactly. You should trust your priest. He told them that. And they are still wondering how that is going to be possible. <laughs> oh, <Jesus. laughs> well, uh, that brings me to the issue I want to discuss with you. Well, I'm ready to take a second wife. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. That is what. <laughs> I can remember some time ago you spoke about bringing some maidens. Uh, I'm sure knowing me, you'll be able to bring the one that can bear me the, uh, to the throne. Oh, yes, it's when we are left. I know it will happen. <laughs> but you know, all my daughters are married. Mm. All of them, you know that. But she, my niece, my late brother's uh, daughter, is still very much available. Very beautiful. Uh, Your Majesty, I'm talking about a young woman who is well brought up, very respectful, whom will everything. She has everything. Will you be needed? Mm. Uh, when I was saying that I, I will gather some maidens for you to make a choice, she was the one I had in mind because I knew it. There is no way you will see her as a two for another. She has everything like I said. In that case, <laughs> let the preparations begin. Uh, Your Majesty, the first thing we have to do is inform the young woman. Yes, I know you will not settle for another when you see her, but I have not even told her. So we have to inform her. And if possible, even I will ask her to come and see you. But if you have an interaction, and then we can start the process. Yeah, no, no, no. There is no need for all that waste of time. I mean, you have known me for a long time. You know what I can do. You know what I like. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, if you can trust her as one of those maidens you would have brought for me, the one. then I can trust you too. Uh, just to just the, but the owner of the car was equally the person who owns the head of the car. The ownership cannot be separated. <laughs> <laughs> everything, true. everything is yours actually. Yeah, your Majesty. But okay, me buy them. Yeah, me buy them. I will ask her to come and see you. Go no pa. I don't have a problem with that. Yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Brothers, yes. good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, I am here to see His Majesty. Do you have any appointment with him? Uh, do you know who is my uncle? He sent me here. Wait a minute. Is your majesty. Yes, what is it? The maiden is here to see you. She said she's from Ono. Okay, I shall hang you.
Majesty. Greetings to you. Ah, greetings. How are you, my dear? Ah, please sit. <laughs> oh, thank you, Your Majesty. As you can see, I am fine. <laughs> oh no, who did not lie about you? What a beauty to behold. <laughs> now, Your listen. Majesty, thank you so much for your compliments. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I am so honored to behold your presence. And now, I'm going to offer you something to eat and don't tell me you are not hungry because you are in the palace. And as the guest of the king, I must call my maidens to attend to you. <laughs> Your Majesty, um, <laughs> you, you, you make it seem as if I am important. You are not just important. You are very, very, very important and beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so God. much, Your Majesty. Uh, come. Yeah, come, come and sit down. <laughs> she went to my beautiful daughter. <laughs> I am so happy that the king likes you. So happy to hear. Uncle, thank you so much for this great opportunity. I'm sure my mother will be so glad to hear this good news. Yeah, <laughs> Who could have imagined that I, ordinary chin, more banshee, will that. become a queen in this kingdom? <laughs> hey, unbelievable. The reason is very simple. You are a blessed child and that is why you are going to become the queen. <laughs> Uncle, you need to see the way the king was staring at me. It's so obvious he likes me so much. He couldn't even hide it. Uh, <laughs> he has no right. You have everything, like I told him, that she won my nephew has everything. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you know, the next thing now is for us to start preparing for the marriage rights. Eh? Yeah. Oh, suppose, suppose. Hey! Uncle, I am so happy. Gee, <laughs> my go live <laughs> There's nothing there. Why would the king want to take another wife? I mean, he didn't even do that all these years. You know, when you ask this kind of intelligent question, it reminds me that actually you are an intelligent child. Thank you. <laughs> then as for the clarification you seek, I just need you to understand that uh, some clarifications are better left unclarified really yes okay okay let me just um, let me put it mildly the king is taking another wife because he wants a woman who will give him an heir you know he came from his son got rejected by the gods he cannot be king after his father what i didn't even know that's why i'm telling you you are very relevant you are going to become a queen in that palace. And that simply means your position is guaranteed. Okay? <laughs> you already said it yourself that the king is attracted to you. So I'm expecting you to use everything you have, you know, to position yourself in a way that you make a lot of gains and draw a lot of attention. <laughs> Trust me on this. <laughs> 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 I trust you, my dear. You know, I know the king very well. We have been friends. Even before he became a king, he was my friend. Therefore, I, I sent you there because I know exactly what he wants. And I'm so happy that uh, everything clicked so fast. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. I am very, very grateful. No, no, no. You don't need to be telling me that. Everything is uh, is just so good. Ooh. Listen, eh? I just want you to comport yourself very well. And then, as we are getting ready for the marriage, you'll be very careful how you communicate to your friends about what is in the offing. No, no, I will so not tell anybody. anybody. <laughs> 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 Jealousy, uh, jealous, jealous. Yeah, yeah, before you know what is happening, somebody will go and say something, and everything will just capsize. I don't know. <laughs> wow. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings, my lovely queen. You look so gorgeous. 
Thank you so much. So, how was your first night in the palace? Hmm. It was splendid. A memory to keep. The truth is that you were outstanding and very strong. Can say that again. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting to know. Are you ready? Your Majesty, please, I would like to talk to you in private. Your Majesty, I'll be waiting for you in my room. All right, my dear. <laughs> the same reason I came here repeated itself. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> See where you just uh, bashed in. Demanding to see me as if you're quarreling with someone. I am not quarreling with anyone. I'm sure you did not see how disrespectful she looked at me when she was leaving. Well, I can understand when a woman becomes jealous when her husband has taken another wife. But not you. What problem do you have with me doing something to salvage Problem. Your Majesty, I am not quarreling with anyone. But you can't be spending all your time with the new lady. Please talk to her and teach her a little bit of what it is to respect people. She's too disrespectful. <laughs> women will always be women. They never change. Listen to yourself talk. You sound jealous. <laughs> and honestly, you should be above that level. This is not funny, my king. My queen, you know that I love you and I respect you so much. You are the queen. Nobody's in contention with you. You should actually be the one teaching her what to do in this palace. At least in your position. Oh, you are sounding like... You're competing with somebody. There's no competition here. Where am I king? I have made my point. How are you? I'm good. Just... Thank you, mother. I mean, you don't expect anything less from the MD of the company. Thank you. Right. And why are you going to work late today? Oh, mom, I had to sort out some things before going to the office. So I had to delay you too. That's why. You do not look cheerful. What <sighs> is it, mother? What is it? Your father's desperation for an heir to the throne made him to bring in that stupid, disrespectful woman in here. Mother, you need to avoid her. I don't want you exchanging words with her. It's so degrading, very degrading. I know. But she acts as if she has a special space in this palace. Mother. Don't get yourself so worked up because of this. Put a smile on your beautiful face, mother. Please. I will when there's need for it. Right now, I'm not happy. You have to be happy, mother. Remember, you're not getting younger. You have high BP, and that is real. 
I know. That's fine. Be careful, my angel. I'm always careful. I'm be fine. Always look beautiful. You are the queen. Be the queen. Have a nice day, mother. You too. Thank you. Oh, Gorgeous. Thank you. I had a very hectic day at the office today. I did. And what, what are you guys doing? Oh, we're watching our favorite program. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we cool off. <laughs> you know, when I look at the both of you, I, I really believe that true love never dies. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, son. Very soon, you will find your own true love. Oh, I hope so, Mom. I hope so. <laughs> um, so, I think uh, you are working too hard. You have to slow down a little bit. My opinion, though. It's true, son. And I don't want you to break down. Mom, Mom you worry too much, okay? You worry too much. I can take care of myself, all right? Okay, if you say so, then go and freshen up white eyes. I. I set the table. There you go again. Mom, 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 mom. There you go again. I told you, you worry too much. I'm not a stranger. I know my way around the kitchen. I'll take care of myself okay, when I'm ready. Okay. Thank Help you, mom. yourself out. Oh, thank you. myself before the great queen. Will you keep your useless greeting to yourself before I hit you with this? I just came out from my room and I saw the heap of clothes I asked you to wash still on my bed. Why did you disobey me? I'm sorry, my queen. The new queen asked me to clean her room first and afterwards she sent me on an errand. What? What gods? You are my personal maid. She has no right whatsoever to send you on any errand that will overrule mine. Why is she shouting? Why is the queen mother screaming? I thought you have high blood pressure. You better help yourself. Not if anything happens to you now, they will say it's chill. Eh? So... Of all the maids in this palace, you did not see any other person to send on an errand but my personal maid? <laughs> oh, mm. um, Queen Mother, like you have rightly said, there are so many maids in this palace and I just chose one from the lot and you're screaming already. <laughs> now I know. I didn't even know there is a personal maid assigned to anyone. You're, you're right. <laughs> you're trying my patience with this friends. Don't do this. Shut up. Next time anyone sends you on any errand or gives you an instruction that overrides mine and you do it, I will sack you that day. Get out of my presence! And you. There's a reason I allowed my husband to bring you into this palace. Focus on it. 
concentrate on that and forget that path you have chosen to wage a war against me. Listen, the forces of nature will be very harsh on you. Mark my words. I return your curses to you. I return it back to you. They have nothing to do with me. It will remain with you. Again, it is. Jealousy, 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 jealousy. Again, it is. Uh-uh. I must continue to define my position in this palace. She wants me to do what she wants. And she will now begin to see me as a maid. I will not allow that. Jealousy, jealousy. Jealousy, jealousy. <laughs> Mama, what happened? I heard voices. Is it not that stupid, classless woman your father brought into this palace as a wife? Mother, what has she done this time? She restricted Chica from doing anything for me until she finishes with her. Can you imagine? Mother, I have told you to avoid this lady. Stop making her relevant by descending to her level. I do not like it. I tell you, sir. Talk to her. She is your father's wife. Tell her to avoid everything that concerns me. <sighs> Why does it look like I have more marriage experiences than my mother? This is really nice. Thank you. <laughs> Mm. Mm. It's delicious. <laughs> what is it? What is What's it? What's this? Oh my god. <coughs> what is it? Where is that stupid maid that prepared us food? What is it? My king, this food is too salty. I can't eat it. If what? you can't eat it, why don't you get something else to eat? Stop creating a scene here. Okay? This food is perfect, right, Dad? Yeah. But you know that I, I am enough of this. What is it? Hmm. So nobody is like, like shut up and eat in peace. Okay. I can't eat this it's too salty for me. <laughs> My king, you sat back in there and watched your daughter humiliate me. You didn't even see anything. This is not fair at all. You have taken a new turn I do not like. You nag too much, and I don't like that. My king, when things are not right, I have to point it out. Well, you have a nasty way of expressing your so-called points. I don't like it. Need I remind you that this is a palace? I must be careful how you comport yourself. You're not the first queen. My king, I am sorry. I didn't believe you were able to eat it. The food didn't taste nice at all. Such food is not supposed to be served in this palace. Especially not for someone in my condition. And what's that supposed to mean? Your Majesty, <clears throat> I have good news for you. I'm listening. Ah. <laughs> Here. Take a look at it. You're pregnant? Yes, my love. I am carrying your son. No <laughs> <laughs> wonder this is strange behavior of yours. I was wondering. Come here. <laughs> I am so excited. 
excited. <laughs> At this cause for celebration. Of course. <laughs> I am all yours. Well, I'm meant for my <laughs> The ancestors of our great kingdom will be with you throughout the face of this pregnancy, and no evil will befall you. Ise! <laughs> Mother, I still maintain what I've always told you. Do not let her behavior get at you. Please. That is, I'm trying. I know. You know I am trying. But that woman does not behave like one who had any form of home training at all. Huh. You may be right. But father with all his class found her worthy to be his wife. Mother. Sweet mother, please move on with your life. The most important thing is that you do not lack anything. So you're still the queen of this amiable kingdom, mother. So please, let's cheers to this, okay? Come on, mother. <laughs> ha! Mom, what are you still doing? I'm just coming back from the gym. I hope God is bringing me. Look at this girl. I know. Thought you'd dress by now. We are going to the shop together. Ah, Mom, no. I'm not going anywhere. My body is training me. I'm not prepared for it. Mom, go on now. Next time we go together. Look at this girl. <laughs> anyway, I don't blame you. All you know is go to the gym, come back, eat and watch television all day. Mom, why are you talking like this? You know I don't just sit at home doing nothing. I work on my thesis. Remember, I am running my MSc program. At the same time, job hunting. In this hard country, Mom, you should be praising me. I'm, 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 I'm a strong woman. Whatever. I just want you to round up with this your MSc program. I will talk to a friend on your behalf. Huh? Mm -hmm. oh, my baby! <laughs> Thank you, Mom. Um, I was thinking of asking you for money to start up a business of my own. Mm -hmm. Which business? Where well, you cannot follow me to the shop. Ah, I mean, good job. You are this shop for a few times. I'm tired. Uh, take care of yourself. You too. I love you. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye, Bye God. The beautiful niece of Mark. <laughs> you know, I am so happy to see you like this. Oh, <laughs> thank you. You made it happen. Please sit down. Please sit down. Thank you. You know, you know this one you are driving on the king's car, it simply tells me that the man is pampering you as expected. Uncle, you can say that again. The king is so loving and caring. I can see that already. <laughs> and I, I hope uh, you are not experiencing any problem in the palace. I mean, as maybe the queen. I hope. Oh, no, not at all. We are all living peacefully. Good. <laughs> that is so good, you know. <laughs> um, Uncle, um, it's so good to see you again. But well, it's been long you came to the palace. And that is because I have been very busy with my business. Oh no, Wabu Oh. I have what I am doing of which I believe you know. I so I run around a whole lot. I just I just got back two days ago. Oh, I see. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this one you are here today, and I, I want to believe you will you will make a time and go and see your mother before you go back to the palace. My mother is not back from Omugu. Oh, where's your girl? I even forgot. Is your girl and your Uncle. Yeah. Yes. Yes, baby. Is you? Yes. <laughs> In fact, you deserve more than this. Nipwe na anya. 
Thank you. I really appreciate it. <laughs> hey, this is this is very lovely. <laughs> and this one you are here today, I hope you are not in a hurry to leave because I'm going to instruct them now to prepare you something nice. Something the way your father used to like it. And I know you will like it too. <laughs> <laughs> you do not have to worry yourself. I am not a visitor here. I know my way around. So don't worry. That's good. I, 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 so, <laughs> I will be right back. Yeah? <laughs> Hey, come here. Where is my car? The new queen went out with it. What nonsense. And you allowed her go out with it? Sorry, Your Majesty. I thought you knew about it. Don't. Come on, get out. What kind of nonsense development is this? What nonsense? Why were you harassing the poor guard? Like you didn't know the kind of woman you married? Anyway, let me get my car key. Don't bother. We can always reschedule. Life of a queen is so sweet. Mm. Mm. Does that mean you wouldn't want to learn to define your boundaries, right? What do you mean? I am a queen in this palace. Do I have boundaries? So for all the cars in the palace, you chose to drive out with the king's SUV. Mm -hmm. You call it SUV. Well, I went out with it because that is what I need in this my condition. Oh, please, I do not want you to get me wrong, okay? Well, when you're done massaging your foolishness, you see the king. Jealousy, jeloma. I am the wife of the king, so I should live like a queen. My love. <laughs> How are you? Where are you coming from? I thought I told you earlier I'll be going to see my uncle. And it's been a while I stepped out. So I just wanted to take a stroll. And you chose to use my SUV. What is wrong with that? Am I not the wife of a king? Listen, you really have to watch it. I don't know you to be this disrespectful. So what happened to your car? Why didn't you use any other car in the compound? My Why king, use my SUV? My king, I do not expect you to talk like this. My car is too low and I cannot go through the stress of bending down while driving. Just take a good look at my condition. Eh? I can't go through that stress. And uh, as for the other cars in the compound, you don't expect me to go out with a car that has not been in use for a long time. What if it breaks down on the road? What will I do in this condition? I'm even thinking that you'll buy me a new car. Or better still, SUV. I never knew you to be like this. You need to be careful. I didn't know you could be so disrespectful. Listen, when did this start? Tell me, when? Am I not the wife of a king? Be warned, the word is enough for the wise. Oh, father. 
Father. Oh, Princess, how are you? I had a hectic day. Yes, yeah, obvious, obvious. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen you in two days, you know. You wake up early, go to work, and then you don't come back until late. Father, I thought you were resting inside. I should have been resting, but I uh, wanted to finish up with this program first. You should actually find time for yourself to do some other things. This is one of the reasons Prince Patrick did not stay. Oh, yes. Father, you and I know Patrick and I were never compatible. Hmm. Well, my daughter, I appreciate the fact that uh, you're a very hardworking princess. Hmm. Okay? Uh, and I've never had any regrets handing over the company to you. But you should find time to do other things. Give your life some meaning. Don't make me force you to bring a man home. <laughs> Father, can I go in now? Yeah, go ahead. All right, thank you. Uh, did you get my chocolate? Are you still going back to me? Father, you're not supposed to be taking sugar. Oh, come on. Sugarless chocolate. You asked to see me. It is about the recent happenings in the palace. I do not understand. I know I've not had any issues with you yet. And I also know you have little respect for me. That is why you haven't faced me yet. But please, I do not like the way you make my mother talk. You stand a lot to gain if you give her the respect she deserves. She's in no competition with you. But my princess, I... I am not done yet. We live in this palace peacefully. And now that you're part of this family, I want you to be part of that peace, not the other way around. My princess, most of the happenings in this palace are not really my fault. It is just that I am being misunderstood. I do not know about that. But I want you to make some adjustment. When one is being misunderstood by practically everyone, then there is a problem. Are you saying I am really that bad? I am not saying that. But I do not like the way my mother complains too much. And I seriously do not want to have a fallout with you. I mean, how do you go about disrespecting a woman who has children older than you? That doesn't speak well of you. Oh, I am sorry. I didn't really mean to disrespect anyone. Make some adjustments, please. Excuse me. Onya bokwanka, eh? Who is this one? Onya kagaya kwa. Is it my fault that her mother did not give birth to the heir? Or is it because I am carrying the heir to the throne? They are jealous of me. The jealousy, jealous. She didn't even know what is coming to her. Just wait until I give birth to this royal son. And the chief priest confirms him as the chosen one. <laughs> Uh, we will know who the real queen is in this palace. The jealousy, jealous. <laughs> Why is your face like this? I am not feeling too well at all. I don't know what is wrong with me. I think I need to see the doctor. Is it time yet? No. I have a week left. Do you need my help? Do not worry yourself. I will be fine. It's okay. Um, once you get there, ask the doctor to call me if anything comes up. 
Okay, I agree. All right, take care. Thank you. Okay. Are you sure with the troublemaker? That is just the right name to call her. <laughs> <laughs> She's indeed a troublemaker. <laughs> My dear, you know, that lady came into this palace and she's turning everyone against each other. You are even lucky that she has left you alone. Good for her. I am wondering how I'm going to be free from her troubles in this palace. <laughs> well, maybe when she's delivered of her child, she will change. I just hope so. <laughs> What is the matter? Uh, it's Jingwen. Jingwen said she was feeling somehow in her stomach and decided to go to the hospital. Now, Dr. Ben has called me that she's in labor. Really? Yes. Then I have to rush to the hospital oh. immediately. Thank you. You are perpetually a queen. Eh? Can't thank you enough. Thank you, my king. Thank you. Listen more, I am here to make an inquiry. And what inquiry, my king? I'm sure you are aware that the new queen has put to bed. She was delivered of a baby boy. I just want to know if there is a way you can find out if that child is the chosen one. I now clearly understand that you didn't understand what I said to you 13 months ago. No, I did not. But what I vividly know is that you said the gods insisted that the child was going to come from my loins. It came from that my son has been rejected by the gods and I don't have any other son. So I figured out that what you wanted to do was to make me take another wife. I've taken another wife and now she has been delivered of a baby boy. So what I'm asking is that you confirm if that baby boy is the one we seek. You misinterpreted the message completely. And this is very unfortunate. Is it more how to do me? But I say that the heir to the throne will come from your loins. Did not mean you have to take another wife. So where will the heir come from? The heir to the throne had been born many years ago before the birth of Ikenefna. I don't understand this, is it more? What are you saying? What I'm saying is that the newborn is not the heir to the throne. Look for the heir, for he has been born a long time ago. Honestly, I don't understand that woman. You know, she's still surprised that I could visit her when she was in labor. I don't know what she was thinking, that I'm an enemy or something, I don't know. Well, she's in her room, nursing her baby. I'll call you, I'll call you back. What's going on? You look very odd. I thought father would be happier now that his new queen has given him a, ch a male child. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what his problem is. Probably he's thinking the gods might reject this one. Why would you say that? Why wouldn't I say it? The child of a woman who assumes the position of an enemy to the people who did nothing wrong to her will definitely inherit that wicked nature. I think your father is bothered because he feels 
the gods might reject him. He walked in, looking weak and devastated. I think you should go talk to him. You don't look happy. What is it? <sighs> I'm fine. Just some confusions here and there. But it's okay, I'm handling them. Confusion? Confusion is different from worry. How do you mean? My king. I do not see confusion. What I see is worry. And I wonder why my king should be worried now that his heir is here. Oh, please, stop. Don't take me down that lane. Well, my king, I know exactly what to give you. Something very hot and spicy. Listen, I'm not hungry. And don't bother yourself about making anything. I'm not hungry. If I need anything, I will give instructions to that effect myself. Why does it appear as if the coming of this boy did not bring the, the expected healing? I think what's going on? face mother I can tell it didn't go well in there tell me what happened he wanted to be left alone as usual I told you he was not going to comply I ceased to know your father since this issue of um, heir to the throne came up mother you need to understand father you also need to be patient with him the joy of every reigning king is to see his son succeed him. And I think father is just scared that the gods are scheming to take the throne from this family. Watch what you say, young lady. I'm sorry, mother. The gods do not scheme. And um, concerning what you said about being patient, I am patient. I am not just patient, but also understanding. If I was not, I would have raised this building down when your father got married to another woman. Oh, thank goodness you did not do that. Mother, we would have been homeless by now. You're not just serious, Adese. <laughs> You're not. I knew you would always support him. Like father, like daughter. Mother. I am not supporting father. I'm only facing reality. A king, to the best of my knowledge, has the right to marry as many wives as possible. And anyone who becomes an opposition will be handled in a terrible way, mother. That is what I am trying to say. You know what, Adeze? I need you to go to that kitchen and leave specific instructions on what we are eating for dinner. Okay? I want to eat something nice. Thank you. As your majesty pleases. And I love you. Mwah.
my love. <laughs> Greetings to you, my king. Greetings. How are you doing? I haven't seen you in two days. What about my son? My king, that is why I came here. Honestly, we are not fine. I am not fine. We hardly have our time these days. Listen, my dear. As a king, I have a lot of responsibilities. And these responsibilities require time. I need to attend to them. Ascribe the time they require to each of them. Don't worry. I'll see you later today. My king, I feel something is wrong somewhere. Eh? What is happening? If there is a problem, just tell me. I am your wife. I will understand. Just... See, you can confide in me. Eh? You are avoiding me these days. Why would you say such a thing? Leave my presence now. I'd like to be alone. Uh, huh. Now. My king, you, do, you don't know. These people will laugh at me. They will laugh at me. Yes, there is this seer called Okati. I gather that whatever he does not see does not exist. I need to see him as soon as possible. Listen, whatever it takes, however you do it, I can always pay for it. Expedite action. notice my presence. Mother, I am disturbed. The king's action towards my son and I lately is not pleasing at all. What about the king? What did he do? He has been avoiding me lately. My dear, do not put any negative thinking into your head. He is a king and he has a lot of responsibilities to attend to on daily basis. How that you do not understand? Just maybe my son is not the chosen heir to the throne. Meaning? Your son is barely of age. Does it really matter? Just maybe this, the ghost may have pronounced that since Prince Ikenefuna was rejected. It follows naturally that any other male child from the royal family that has been chosen should be declared. Mother, the king's attitude towards me lately is getting me frightened. Barely a month you gave birth to your son. You are already fighting for him to become the heir to the throne? What if you gave birth to a female child? And the gods know better. They gave me a male child. I prayed to them and they answered me. So let their will be done. Do not dabble into their affairs. Oh, mother, please do not stress this any further because you do not understand it at all. <laughs> My daughter, if your son is destined to be the king, nothing on this earth can stop him. So stop moving faster than the gods. It's okay. I have heard you. Thank you. Please, can I be left alone? You should be happy you are married to one of the great kings in our time. Do not do anything that will affect your future. Do not try it. Uh, 
Uh, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, gentlemen. I I don't think I've seen these faces before. Um, I'm sure this is the house of um, Onu of Akalugo Kingdom. This is not just the house. I am the Onu of Akalugo Kingdom. Uh, we come in peace. Okay. And you are received in peace. Uh, um, <clears throat> my name is Chike, and um, here is my friend and colleague um, Iken. Okay. So how may I be of help? Um, uh, we came in for a project and then we are directed to come and see you. What kind of project, please? Um, sir, okay, it's actually something that has to do with um, land. land. So, yeah, I oh, think maybe true. we should sit down and talk. We come in peace. Land, right? Yes. Okay. Come in. Okay. It's coming. Yeah, come in. Yeah. Thank you, sir. I brought a good one. I'm ready to hear it. Um, okay, thank you very much, sir, for the opportunity to... Actually, sir, we are here for a project. Mm -hmm. And um, this particular project is the one that I am very, very certain I can beat my chest to it. It is going to benefit this kingdom positively, even the generations to come. Good. Um, we are both civil engineers, and um, we actually want to build um, an extension, a sub-branch of, of our company. But uh, the um, land they showed us, we have two already. The one that is more suitable is the one that we found in this community. And that is where we have been directed to you. Mm. Civil engineers? Yes, sir. I like that. I particularly like your kind of civil engineer, the one that we are hearing. <laughs> That's on the joke, <laughs> on the joke, joke level. Uh, Seriously. Yeah. Uh, where exactly is this land located? Uh, uh, sir, it's uh, the land located very close to the market. Yes, exactly. It's very close to the market. I know the land. Okay, what business exactly do you want to set up on the land? Uh, the owner of the project is not here with us, actually. Like he aforehand mentioned, the both of us, we are civil engineers and our company gets contracted for projects like this. Having seen the land, the land is suitable for this project. Mm -hmm. And uh, the company I'm talking about, they are into production massively. And I'm very sure that it will go a long way in creating job opportunities for the youth when it's actually built here in this community. Hmm. Exactly. Impressive. I am impressed. Thank you, sir. It's a good thing you remembered our kingdom for such a wonderful project. And uh, let me actually tell you that I, I am just the only one in Akalugo kingdom. And uh, the land you are talking about is uh, one set aside for development. Uh, but uh, here in, uh, in Akalugo kingdom, when there is need to give out any land for development, the responsibility is on the king. Yes. Um, um, sir, um, please, I want to ask you for a favor. I don't know, uh, but I think you having known the, the gains and the positive impact it's going to have on this community, I think you mm. should be in a better, in a better position to explain to the king very well, I so that he can give us hearing ears. Definitely, yeah, we do that. No, that's no problem. I, I'm going to do that. But uh, what I'm just trying to make you understand is that uh, I, what I decided to get involved, I thought you wanted to buy land. Now that it is a development land, you're looking for a kind of land that the community will give you for development. Uh, you are going to meet with the king, and. Uh, the man understands business more than myself. And uh, depending on your, your, the power of your presentation, I mean, the way you go about talking to him when you meet him, he may end up investing in the business oh. because it's development. He likes it. Oh, 
Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. That's beautiful. Yes. That's beautiful. That's nice. Thank you very much, sir. That's encouraging. Thank you very much, sir. We truly appreciate it. No problem. If not that I have a place I am scheduled to be in the next 30 minutes. I mean, a place that I cannot afford not to go. I would have volunteered to take you to the palace myself. Oh, oh no, sir. There's no uh, need. <laughs> but you, you, I, will, I will do everything. I, will, I know the king, most likely he will call me and I will... Have one of few things to talk to him. Okay. Tell him about the young man. Okay. Uh, he, he, he will help you. You've already done, done very well. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Um, sir, uh, please uh, forgive us. Uh, you know, we are supposed to come with at least um, a, good, a good drink or something. There's no problem. I know towards. next time. Uh, maybe next time you can come. But <laughs> right now, you have to sit down. I will find you something that you oh, can do. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Why does it appear to me? I'd see if there is a conspiracy going on against me in this palace. I have no idea about that, my queen. Mm. Um, can I trust you? My queen, as long as what you want me to do is not what will make the royal heads get mad at me, then you can trust Come me. Come on, shut up that, your stupid mouth. Who are those that you refer to as royal heads? Am I not one of the royal heads in this palace? Eh? It is possible you are. But your position has not been announced to us. The king and the queen are the royal heads. They are the ones who could give orders that stand irrevocable. Look at this girl. Get out from this car! I said get out from- Come on, get down! Stupid girl! Can you imagine? No respect for me! Hey! Well, young man, I have heard all you said. I'm quite impressed, I must tell you. Um, you will leave your contacts with me. I will speak with my elders in council, and then I will get back to you. That's okay. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. We appreciate it. No, it's okay. Uh, you must understand that it's not my personal property. <laughs> it's a property that belongs to the whole community. Uh, but since you have discussed with the Onowu already, um, I will have to involve other members of the council. Uh, then I will get back to you, like I said. Uh, I must tell you that it is a very beautiful idea that you came with, especially because uh, it is a de developmental project. Uh, it should also benefit my people. <laughs> oh, thank you very much, sir. Thank you, Your Highness, for the audience. We truly really appreciate it. You're welcome. I received the men you sent to me. Good. I asked them to come back for the necessary documentation. <laughs> I had reserved that land for development. And since what they came for is related to that, then I have no issues. You see why I always insist that the people must identify the good man and make him their king. I knew it. I knew it that my king will not have any problem with development. You are a good man indeed. <laughs> Why are they gonna man? Don't flatter me. <laughs> anyway, um, you know, I need to see Okati, the foremost seer. Yes. I have made inquiries and nobody seems to know where to find him. Okati. Anunkankanku. Oh yes, that man is the very summation of Abu. He hardly stays one place. Why, why are you looking for him? I've heard a lot of things about him. And I need to see him. Well, I know where to find him. Very close to the river between Nomuaba and Umweke. Your Majesty, that man cannot leave his land. Though. Not impossible. I am prepared to pay. But I need to see him here. Your Majesty, Okati Gwe Anunkankanko is not one of those men that money can move. He is very stubborn. He will not come. Every man has his price. Uh, Joe, my phone. Okay. Um, have you ever heard of Umoba? Yes, Your Majesty. Do you know them very well? Yes, Your Majesty. Uh, listen, in case you do not know them very well, 
ask around and then get back to me. Okay. I know they are very well. Is even my maternal home, Your Majesty? Oh, really? Yes, Your Majesty. Ah, in that case, prepare yourself. We'll go there in two days. Okay, Your Majesty. All right? All right. Uh, very important. I do not want to hear that you whispered this to anybody. Okay? Okay, Not Your Majesty. Not a word from anybody on this. Right. Exactly. Yes, Your Majesty. Believe me, nobody will hear about this. You know, I'm your personal driver. I can't do that. I know. Anymore. Just in case you've covered your senses, I'm just reminding you. All right, Your Majesty. You may leave. Thank you, Your Majesty. She wonder you're not looking good at all. I mean, what is your problem? Where's your son? Uncle, he is with my mother at the palace. All is not well at all. All is not well. I mean, what does that mean? What happened? The king is not happy. And I figured out it has something to do with the heir to the throne. You know, we're hoping that my son will be the heir. Of course. Uh, that is the very reason the king took the silver wife in the first place. And you happen to be the one. Nobody was willing to tell me anything. And I took it upon myself to get the answers that I need. You get upon yourself to get the answers that you need. What does that mean? I mean, what did you do? I visited the Asian Moor. I know I'm not supposed to be here. But the issue at hand is very delicate. It is affecting everything in the palace, including the king. What do you seek to know? Is my son the chosen one? Is he the heir to the throne that we have been waiting for the gods to approve? Your son will be great. Greater than his father, the king. <laughs> Thank you. But he has no business with the throne. The heir to the throne will be chosen by the gods. And will await their decision. And they will always do it at their own time. Really? The gods are wise. And we must comply with their decision. Else, we incur their wrath. Uncle, he was so emphatic. I am just coming straight from there and I have not been myself at all. Very surprised that the chief priest could elect to speak to a woman with such level of clarity on an issue that doesn't concern a woman. Why should this be my feet? Why? I am very, very disappointed in you, Chimando. Why must you go to the Zemo in the first place to go and make such inquiry? It is not in your place to make such inquiries. Uncle, I was just so inquisitive. I wanted to know. Uh, you are my uncle, please. Do understand me. I understand you. But I am just telling you that uh, uh, you went too fast. Listen, the gods are wise. They don't make mistakes and they don't go wrong. All of us, we are thinking that uh, your son uh, will turn out to be the heir to the throne. But uh, we have seen how it turned out that uh, it is not what the gods want. You should be able to take it that way and not uh, try to kill yourself. There's nothing wrong with your marriage. Okay? Uncle, I know, but... I... Uh, listen, you don't need... I told you, there is nothing wrong with your marriage. Yes, the king is demoralized just like you are demoralized, but he is going to come around. Okay? So leave everything the way they are. Okay? I am just bothered. I was hoping my son would be the coming king. All of us, we are hoping. But now we have seen that that is not what is going to happen. The gods have another plan, which we don't know yet. Listen, as I'm already told you, that your son is going to be great, even greater than the father. 
You should console yourself with that assurance and not allow yourself to be demoralized by something else. Ideally, it's not supposed to be my business. But as the queen mother of this great kingdom, I have to speak up. That boy, that son of yours that is the heir to the throne, is not being breastfed. And I'm not comfortable with it. Because he might grow up not to be a wise king. Where is this coming from? Your new wife. She is never in this palace. Always going out. Leaving the poor child with her own mother. Who is forced to feed him with cow's milk. It's not acceptable, my king. I think you should look into it. This is a serious one. Trust me. I will look into it. Mother, please. I have a lot on my head right now. Just allow me to be. Before you kill yourself for nothing, please, remember you have a son that needs you. And he is the reason I am doing all of this. I want my son to be happy in life. Don't you get it? You want your son to be happy in life? Yes. Do you realize your son needs you around always to breastfeed? You have not been doing that lately. And it is not good for the boy. Mother, my son has varieties of milk. Feed him with that. I mean, he shouldn't have a problem that I am going all out for him. I need to help my son. Excuse me, mother. She was even happier when she was not married. Then what is the gain? What is the gain of marrying the king? I have heard so much about you, Kati, with the great. And I must tell you that I am pleased to be in your presence. It is said that when a frog is seen jumping around in the daytime, it is either looking for something to eat or that there is something looking to use it as lunch. My heart is deeply troubled. Yes, everybody. The great king of Akalugo kingdom. You're welcome to my place. No matter how big a problem is, there is always a solution. Your heart is troubled because of your inability to produce an heir to the throne. All right, Okati boy. That's why I'm here. You even went as far as taking a second wife, all in a bid to get an heir to the throne. But the heir to the throne has been born several years ago. That's exactly what the priest of my land told me. But I'm asking, how possible is that? Is it really? A certain maiden came to you for help several years ago. You took advantage of her. She got pregnant in the process. And then you did the unthinkable. You rejected her at the pregnancy. Can you recall? 
could it be? Could it be this young maiden? What is her name? Ifoma. Ifoma. I only came to you for help. I never expected this, my king. You should not feel bad making out with a king. Take this money. You can take care of your problems. Be a good girl. Do not mention this to anyone. I have never done this before. And you are lucky to have started with a king. You should be happy. I still can't believe you took advantage of a helpless woman who came to you for help. Don't real meaning into this. You are a beautiful girl. I enjoyed what you gave. I gave nothing. You intimidated me and took what you wanted. I love it. Could it be? This is young maiden. Her name is Ifoma. In all honesty, Your Majesty, you've been very much unfair to that young lady. You see, people in positions of authority must not trample on ordinary people as if they are nothing. Honestly, great one, I am so surprised right now. I am ashamed of myself. That young lady needed help. And she came to me. I don't know what came over me. I decided to take her in. And she followed you without resistance. Yes. She gave you what you wanted because she lacked the will to resist the king. She came back after so many weeks and stated that she was pregnant. You are right, great one. Like I said, I don't know what came over me. I was angry when she said that and I ordered her to leave my presence. You see, I, I had no feelings for her. It was just something I wanted to do just for the fun of it. I... Honestly, I... I know that I have not done good. But I thought because of her age that she was one of those young girls who go about extorting money from men. You have to go and look for that young lady. She holds the solution to your problems. The heir to the throne you seek today is the same child you rejected so many years ago. Please, this is where I need your help, Bukati, with the grace. Please, I don't know anything about this lady. I, I beg of you, I don't even know her family. I don't know where to look for her. Help me, please. I, it, it even took me long to recall her name. I, I couldn't even remember. Go to your priest. The eye of the gods. He will direct you on the sacrifices you have to make to the gods. And then the gods, in turn, will direct you to the solution to your problems. Oh yes, because our wives, they don't know it all. Who 
are you? And how did you get in here? My identity is not the problem. The problem is why you still have in possession a property that belongs to the palace of Akalugu Kingdom. I don't have any business with Akalugu Kingdom. How am I holding their property? You don't only have business with them, but you belong there. What do you mean by that? How can I belong there? Take the princess to her father. And time to do that is now. This dream again. I have had this countless times now. What is this all about? How can I go back to that heartless man? My daughter is better off the way she is. I cannot take her back to the man who took advantage of me. He can take advantage of her too. Life. Why are you tormenting me? There will be a time when all options will be deleted from the book. I don't want it to get there. Where? What happened? You just said we are going to the bank to rectify something in your account. What happened? <sighs> Mom, talk to me now. You're behaving strange. I don't know how to start. Asanze, we need to talk. <sighs> Isimo, I have provided the money for the sacrifice that will make the gods move for me. I can confirm to you authoritatively that the gods have moved for you. You just have to watch the movement of the gods. Calm down. How can I calm down, Ezemo? I've been waiting for the air. I am waiting for the information that will lead me to the woman. Or should I make more sacrifices? I need to solve this problem. The gods move with the goddesses. And if they are not moving, they commission the goddesses to move. That is the case in this development. I insist you have to come down. I lied about your paternity. What? Mother! I did that because of the situation at hand. You have to forgive me. Wait. Mom. I, I, I don't understand you. You said my father died before I was born and the family rejected us. What are you saying? That is the lie, my dear. Your father is still alive. He is Ezeb, the reigning king of Akalugo Kingdom. What? Mother! I hated him, for he took advantage of me as a king. When I lost my parents and my uncle became a stranger overnight, I went to him for help. The king took advantage of my situation. I was so vulnerable and I needed help. When I noticed that I was pregnant from what he did to me, I went back to him. I knew the king can never marry me 
because I'm a nobody. But at least I expected him to find a lasting solution to the problem. The king chased me away and called me a gold digger. I knew what would happen to me if I tell anybody what happened. I lost all hope and I traveled far away from the kingdom to have you. This is no good, Mom. You should have told someone. I was a poor village girl who was a victim to the power of the mighty. I cannot report him to anybody because they will not believe me. They may even kill me to silence me forever because he was in power and money. Mom, after my birth, you should have told him the truth. After your birth, I felt there is no need to tell him because he doesn't deserve to know. So, so, what's the need? Why are you telling me now? Don't you think it's too late? Don't you? No, it is not. I've been having series of dreams lately. It's up to 28 years now. I believe your father would have known better from his past mistakes. I'm pained. I'm pained not because you denied me access to my father for almost 28 years. My pain is you hiding all this truth from me. I agree you did all this because of the circumstances. But mom, you are my best friend. You should have told me the truth. I'm very sorry, my daughter. Honestly, I am. With your permission, I want to take you back to the palace. Good morning, how are you? Very well, my king. Your Majesty, a woman is here to see you. The lady. Young lady. She has any appointment? No, Your Majesty. She says she has important issues to discuss with you. And you'll be glad to receive her. Really? Okay, let her in. Yes, Your Majesty. Good morning, Your Majesty. Good morning. Is this you, Ifoma? Yes, Your Majesty. This is me, Ifoma. May the gods be praised. <sighs> okay, I'll take away. Your Majesty. I want to thank you for honoring my urgent invitation. This is a woman you spoke about. She came here this morning with this young lady and presented her as my daughter. When I saw her, I was relieved. And I said, finally, the gods have answered my prayer. Your Majesty, a female cannot be king in your land. That is exactly why I invited you. Because I am confused right now. The same gods that moved and brought her here can also make her recall 
the circumstances surrounding the birth of this young woman. Therein lies the solution to this problem. When the king rejected me, I moved to a neighboring village where a nurse called Margaret took care of me till I put to bed. The story is not exactly what you think. I will tell you the real version of this story. Why are you sober? Why are you putting yourself in so much stress? I have told you I am a nurse. I will take care of you. I said it and I mean it. I'm thinking on how this baby is going to survive. I mean, I have nothing. And I can't go back to Akalugo. Uh, I understand you perfectly well. Especially when the person responsible for this situation is a king. I, I know one must be very careful. Exactly. Exactly. He feels I plan to swindle him of his money. He was actually the one that took advantage of me. My dear, my advice to you is that when you put to bed, you go back to him and tell him, explain things to him. If, if you can also take a DNA test to, to clear his doubts. No, I can't. He's mean and wicked. See, I just want to deliver my baby and find something doing that I, I will use and fend for myself and that of my child. That's all. It is not easy as you think. Getting a job in this town is, is difficult. It is hard. Especially with a mother and a newborn. It is very hard. Yet whichever way, I don't want you to stress yourself. In this condition, you're not supposed to be thinking. You're going to hurt yourself. Please, go. Just relax. Calm yourself down. Thank you so much. Thank you very, very much. I mean, I don't know what I would have done without you. I'm so, so indebted to you. Thank you. It's Thank okay. you. It's okay. It's nothing. We all need help in this life at some point. Oh? Come here. Ah! Margaret. Margaret. Oh, Margaret, what, 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 what is it? No, I don't mind. Ah, I'm not comfortable, it, Margaret. It's okay, it's okay. It ah. is time. Breathe in. Breathe. Okay. You have to do this. Okay? As a strong woman you are, you have to do it. Make sure you save yourself and the child. I'm ready. I'm ready. What are you going to do? Don't worry. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Take it easy. Breathe. Grace. Breathe. You'll be fine. Okay. to find the female child beside you. Exactly. When I woke up, I didn't find her. I managed to take care of the baby and myself. I had to call some neighbors who helped me out. Three days later, most Margaret's the decaying body was found in the bush. 
Some neighbors helped me out till I was able to get something doing to take care of the baby and myself. What is wrong with this idiot? Eh? Chekwao, in your chandel nuku, or break what you can get. Come on, will you get us of my way? I'm sorry, my queen. It's another from the king. You can't see him now. He's with some guest inside. Come back later. Hey! No one no the book can you You want to tell me that you are, you are, you are talking rubbish? Come on, you will you get? I'm sorry. Please make this easy for me. Hey! You want to tell me that you are smart? I don't blame you. I, I don't blame you. Don't worry. I will make sure you leave this palace. A wolf, idiot, goat. The woman you held as a helper was only a devil and a destroyer. That was why she died mysteriously. She took the prince away and left you with only the princess. Hmm. I still can't believe that Margaret was this if. I feel like killing that monster the second time. Would you respect father? You gave her the room to ruin the destiny of my brother. Tell me, where in this world am I going to see him? Where? Hmm. Asandinze, I understand your predicament. But I appeal to you to see the gods in all this. The gods have their reasons for allowing everything that happened to happen. What do we do now? Nothing. Huh? Nothing, Your Majesty. Just be a little bit more patient. The gods are not done yet. They made a way for this revelation today. They will also make a way for the prince to come back home. Hmm? Just be more patient. I am very sorry, my dear. Sorry. I am really ashamed to face you now. After everything I put you through. If it was not for my act, I soon would not have been a victim. I don't know what to say, Your Majesty. My major problem is my son. A son I never knew I had. Don't worry, my dear. It is well. The priest has already assured us that by the gods, he will come back to us in one piece. This is too much for me. I know. It's okay. Come. It is well. I cannot explain how it happened, my queen. But practically everyone in the palace got fed up with her and independently decided to start avoiding her. Well, Chica, that's the major reason I summoned you here. I want you to know that she is a queen, the wife of a king who has been able to reproduce a prince. So you all must never disrespect her. Okay? Not yet, my queen. But she has been the one disrespecting everyone. Like I said earlier, she is a queen. The wife of the king. You are not. I want you to always bear that in mind.
lovely and beautiful queen. You look so good today. <laughs> Greetings to you. Greetings to you too. Did you notice what happened here in the palace yesterday? What happened? A woman and a younger woman, including a seer, came to see our husband, the king. Oh. I saw them. Ah. I wanted to enter there yesterday, but they refused me. It's only natural that um, when the king is with some people, you don't go there. Maybe you can go to the king for him to educate you. Uh, no, I, I don't think so. <laughs> My queen. Anyway, mm, I will leave you to enjoy your day while I will be in my room. In case you need anything, just call on me, okay? <laughs> Hey, could it be that she's changing? That's interesting. Chiwe, respectful. Ha. Because, I have to talk to the cook to be careful with my food. I need to talk to you. Okay. What is it, mother? Adeze. You need to talk to your father. I mean, since this whole heir to the throne is you came up, we would not had peace nor happiness in this palace anymore. Mother, you should know father by now. You should know him. A woman came here yesterday with a younger woman. She stayed here till late because she left very, very late. I wouldn't tell you what happened, but the guards restricted myself and your father's wife from going in. Mother, is that all? You should know your husband. He has done the same thing over the years to practically everyone. Mm -mm. This one is different. How different? I have this feeling that your father is trying to marry a third wife out of desperation. <sighs> Mother, I've had a busy day, honestly. But this is what I'm going to do. I will have a chit chat with him and ask him what is wrong, because I know obviously something is wrong. Exactly. Please, make him understand that. I will. And then we'll sit down as one family and discuss it. Thank you. Okay, mother. I love you. Okay? I love you more. Can I go in now? Sure. Okay. <sighs> You're still here. This is unlike you. I waited to see if I can talk sense into you again. Talk sense into me? I don't understand. What does that mean? Are you not supposed to be getting closer to your father already? He begged for forgiveness and I have forgiven and him. I have forgiven him too. Why are we still talking about this? He needs you in his palace. He wants to make you a part of their family. Why are you resisting that? Mom. I am not resisting anything. Allow me to take my time. We are talking of a palace where we have a vibrant princess, a lady who manages her father's businesses. I mean, do you think she would be happy with the fact that she has another sister somewhere? Do you understand this? 
that princess is not your problem. The king is the one we are bothered about. <sighs> Mom, I might not have lived in royalty all my life, but I've read a lot on royalty as if I knew I was a princess. Everything about royalty connects with one another. I mean, Ezebube is my father. That I know. And we have reconciled. I can't just wake up and, and start going back to the palace. Allow me to take my time. I have to. Please, don't disturb me about this again. Hassan, please. Just as stubborn as her father. How can I undo this? Hassan, please. I know. What are you saying? <laughs> yes. I know. <laughs> Uh, I'll call you back. My mom is here. Mom, I was Alpha. thinking by now you're supposed to be living in the palace with your father. Mom, please, not again. I'm done with this discussion. I mean, you're sounding as if you're tired of me already. I'm not tired of you. I'm just trying to do things right. Mom, the right thing we should be doing is to look for how to find my brother. Don't you think we should involve the police? How can we involve the police when we don't have any information about him? But mom, we cannot just sit and do nothing about it. I mean, he was unknown before, but now we all know he exists. So let's just, you know, find him. Let's find him. I think we should allow the gods to do their work. He will be found. The gods. Is this in a house? Please, who are you? And how did you get in here? Why have you both refused to carry out my instructions? The property you are keeping belongs to the palace of Akalugo Kingdom. What are you talking about? What property? The child you rescued 28 years ago belongs to the palace of Akalugo Kingdom. And it is time for him to assume his position. For he is the chosen one. Take him back to his kingdom. You did a good job. But don't ruin it with your stubbornness. I can tolerate many things, but that of stubbornness, I can't. buying anything like this. That is because it is not in your place to buy it. People will buy it for you. And they have bought it. But they are looking for a head to put it. And the head is not forthcoming. Who are you? How, how did you... 
What, what, what are you talking about? Where do you want to place this thing here? I translate many things. Mainly coming from those who do not know me. Stubbornness is not one of them. You are the choosing one. What is this woman doing? Hey! But I'm sure that woman is not human. By that, you are possibly saying that we listen to her and tell you Kenna the truth about how he came into our lives? Is that what you're saying? No, no. Is it not obvious that this is getting complex by the day? Yes, he cannot come into our lives and become a blessing. God, because of him, gave us two beautiful girls, yes. But, but you know, we, we picked him up and, and named him our adopted son. You put this into account, too. Yeah, I know. I know. But we need a son. We need a son, and Ikena is that son that we need. Are you saying that we just allow him to go just like that after training him, after raising him to become a prosperous, vibrant young man? Is that what you're saying? Honey, oh, I, I don't want us to argue. Going by the fact of what just happened. Who is this woman? What was that crown for? And who were the people waiting for a head to wear the crown? Remember how we picked him up? He was abandoned by his mother to die. How? How can you allow a mystery woman to deceive you into believing that he's a prince? Can a prince be so abandoned? Honey, you can never tell the events that culminated in the child being abandoned there. You just call that woman a mystery woman and I agree with you. We need to tell the young man the truth and allow him to, to make decisions. And of course, I know the next thing to do. Okay. Okay. If we should go by what you said, how do we start this? Only way to we start from. How can we tell Ikena that we picked him up from where he was abandoned to die? Just tell me how. Well, he's a man and uh, I'm sure he can handle it. Yeah, yes, I, 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 the program, as I said. Uh, Dad, mom. Something very scary happened in my room right now. What? What? What, what happened, son? I, I, I just got back and I was in my room and I saw a lady. She looked like a goddess. And she told me that I'm the chosen one. She, she showed me a crown and told me that some people already bought the crown for me and that they are waiting for me to present my head and then she vanished and the crown also vanished. Really? Mama, I'm telling you what happened. She spoke in English. It was crystal clear to me but I got confused because I have no connection with the crown and the people she mentioned. Make smoothie for him, his favorite. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sir, I asked her to mix a uh, smoothie for you, your favorite. Uh, she'll be faster, about it. Dad. 
I noticed the way you were looking at mom when I was narrating my story to you. Is there something you need to tell me? I know that look, Dad. Is there something I need to know? Mom. Dad. Why did you hide such a thing from me for so long? Why? I'm so sorry, son. We love you so much. We love you so much. And we felt there is no need telling you because we don't want to hurt you. Son. You don't have to blame us. We only rescued you then and took you in as our son. Yeah. We couldn't have told you all this because we didn't know where to lead us to. We didn't know your origin. God, Dad! You don't hide this kind of truth from somebody! You don't! How do I make peace with the fact that for 28 years the family I've been living with is not my biological family? Oh, how? Oh, God. So. I need to say that. Does that mean I don't have a father or mother? No, son. We remain your father and mother. We are not saying that we are not your parents. We only want you to know the truth. The truth, mom. The truth. I should have known the truth a long time before now. I should have. Why are you telling me now? Why are you telling me this now? Of what you use of me? Why are you telling me this now? Why? The woman. Which same woman are you talking about? Talk to me, I'm already losing my mind here, please. Just talk to me, please. The same woman has come to us many times and specifically asking us today to take you back to the palace of Akalugo. It is possible that the crown she showed you is the crown from that kingdom. This is not joining my understanding, Mom. I, I can't quite wrap my mind around this. I can't. What connection do I have with the people of Akalugu? Or the crown? Or could it be because I went there to ask them for a land? Hold on, son. I don't understand this. Are you saying that you went to the palace of Akalugo to ask for a land? For what? For the company you want. The company needed an expansion. We met the king who gave us the required assistance. In affirmative, the land was given to you. Yes. Construction is ongoing as we speak. Who then is my father? Could it be the king? Well, son, uh, when we get there, we will find out. This is too much for me to process. This is just... This is too much for me to process right now. It's just too much. This won't be funny. It won't be funny if this whole thing turns out to be a fluke. If the whole thing turns out to be a fluke, then that mystic woman will no longer disturb us. 
for we have done what she asked us to do. Your Highness. How did you find this bomb? They have already told me the story. What I want you to do is to confirm if he is the one we seek. There are sources. Your Majesty, he is the one. But how? How? I was abandoned to die probably by a teenage mother who couldn't take care of a child. And they, they found me and made me the son. <sighs> How am I connected to all this? How am I connected to all this? I will tell us the story from the very beginning. Good afternoon, boss. You sent for me. This is the hour of astral projection. I need you to move far from here. Do not come in. And do not allow anyone to come in until you hear my bell. Consider it done, sir. myself before the great Oma, the most beautiful and powerful of them all. You requested for my presence. I am here. You are that powerful priestess who possesses great powers from beyond. You are that unpredictable authority who controls different forces including the master of money it is not always that you instruct men like me to come through astral projection to what do i owe this summon it is one thing to make money and another thing to remain in money i am a man of money the political godfather of the East, with tentacles spreading across the globe. I have made men, and I want to continue making men until I die. That remains on one condition. Men like me who have seven heads are always equal to anything. What is the condition, great one? The gift of a royal male blood. How do you mean? Between now and the next seven days, you are required as a matter of extreme urgency to sacrifice a royal male blood on this altar. For you to remain a wealthy man, a dreaded political godfather depends on this. Do not fail me. If you fail me, you have failed the hidden lords and masters. They will crush you. They will crush you without mercy. 
your count starts now. You have a guest, boss. Who? Your friend Chief Benson. I kept him waiting in the meeting room, pending the sound of your bell. Tell him I will join him in a minute's time. Okay, boss. A man. re in seven days. How do I go about it? Chief Benson. Oh, you are welcome and thanks for coming at the right time. Uh, Chief Dubim, your countenance is not good. What is the problem? I was invited by the great Omar today. And what did she say? She made a tough demand. And I don't know how to go about it. What did she say or have you heard in any way? I have not heard. She demanded that a gift be made to the lords and masters. Is that a problem? Do as you've been instructed. Or is there anything wrong with the request? She demanded not just anybody, but a real blood. <laughs> Is that why we are panicking? Chief Dobem, we live in a world where everything is possible. That request will give you more life and more money. I suggest you just do what she has asked you to do. Chief Benson, you know you are older than me in this game. And that is why this request means nothing to you. But it's killing me slowly. Where can I get a real blood from? For this? Chief Dubem, everything you need is out there. Spread your tentacles and you get whatever you want. You talk with a lot of confidence. How come you never experience any problems in providing whatever she demands? How come? Uh, Chief Dubem, you know, sometimes when you settle down, you realize that those things you think that are very, very difficult are very, very easy to get. I'll tell you a story. You are indeed very pretty. I hope you know why you are here. <laughs> Chief, I wouldn't be here if I don't know everything. I am ready. When I mean ready, very, very, very ready. You will be well taken care of. And I don't expect you to back out. <laughs> Chief, I'm one of those ladies who can do anything for money. <laughs> and with the amount of money involved, I would do anything to live up to expectation. <laughs> well, this is two million. For you. Chief. Chief, thank you. Chief, but you've already paid me part of my payment. I am a chief. And you are working for a chief. We spend money, that is why we are chiefs. Anyone who doesn't spend money is not qualified to be called a chief. Be it man or woman. I understand what that means, sir. I am taking care of you because I want you to deliver. And I expect to see you when you are pregnant. Noted, Chief. Um, one more thing. I am a spirit. <laughs> no one runs away from me. Chief, that wouldn't be necessary. We are partners, and partners always keep in touch. I give you my word, I will deliver. It's very, a promise. Very good. <laughs> Good luck. Chief, thank you. Thank you for being a blessing to my life.
Her name is Pretty. I paid her exactly what she asked for. I even added more. I know about that, Chief. The question is, what do you want? She fell in love with the child after giving birth to him. And now she doesn't want to release the child to me. Do you want her arrested? I can bring her to you now. Or, Chief, do you want her silent permanently? <laughs> Take your boys to her place. Get that child of hers to me. If you resist, silence her the hard way. She has been paid. She must have to deliver. When it comes to money, Chief Benson doesn't look at faces. Consider it done, Chief. Are you serious? Are you this mean? Go through the book of Genesis and you'll discover that God didn't create money. Men created money to maintain supremacy and constantly manipulate other men. If you must remain in money, then you must be initiated into the bottomless souls of those that made money. These are men without conscience. Money itself has no life, but it remains the source of life. My aim is to become the political godfather. And I'm not cut out for all these extremes you are bringing in. Beautiful Omar has just made a demand of a royal blood that will make you remain where you want to be. Do it and you will not have any reason to lament. You sound as if it is very easy. Nothing is ever easy. Do you know that the great Omar has once asked me to bring the son of a priest? And you know that priests do not have wives. But she asked me to bring the son of a priest. Well, you never mentioned this to me. <laughs> that is because I don't talk too much. I always have a way to relax and take care of my problem. How were you able to solve this one? One thing you need to know is that many priests who appear celibate to their congregations have very stable families. They have wives and their children know their fathers. But they have found a way to keep it secret. I set a machinery in motion and indeed I found the son of a priest. If Omar has demanded for a royal blood, then know that the royal blood is there. Find him. Give to Omar so that you don't lose everything. Look who is visiting, the ever beautiful Miss Green. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, my dear. How are you? As you can see, I'm fine. But the boss is not at home. Really? Yeah. Where did he go? He left for Calabar for an international conference. As a matter of fact, he left this morning. And he didn't tell me. <laughs> I don't believe that. I'm sorry about that. I promise he will make it up to you when he's back. 
And please don't hold out against him. Okay. Can I at least come in? I can't be standing here. It is already a big embarrassment to my personality. I'm sorry, Miss Green, if that's how you feel. You had better start searching for a hotel around the neighborhood where you can pass the night. It will not be possible for me to let you in. Why? Protocol, ma. And it must be observed. I can get you a room in one of the hotels around. Forget about the payments or bills on me. Please, save yourself the stress. Just open the gate. I'm sorry you can call me. I just told you the boss is not at home. There is something you need to understand, my dear. Boyo. Sir. I am a man who already carved a ditch for himself. I do not tolerate unprofessionalism. The type that can make a man go down. This very issue revolves around my very existence. And as a man of power, I do not want any laxity. You can trust me on that, Chief. I will never disappoint you. And this won't be the first. And let me say this. If anything should ever go wrong, I will not mention your name. That's good. So when can I likely get a child who is a royal blood? I've already discussed with the midwife. Hopefully this week. I am sorry to disturb your boss, but Miss Green, it's outside the gate creating a scene. What do you mean by creating a scene? I already made it crystal clear to her that you're not in town. I told her you left for Calabar for an international conference, but she's still insisting on coming here to spend the night. Don't worry. I will handle it. All right, boss. What the hell is going on? Good afternoon, sir. What rubbish am I hearing? Thank God you said it's rubbish. Your gatekeeper refused to let me in. He lied to me. He told me you went to Calabar this morning and I know that is rubbish. Because you can never travel without telling me. Really? Do you want me to kill you or what? My king, my hero, why are you talking like this? I only wanted to come in and spend the night because I can't go back to 3-3 three, three today. The first truth is that I am in town. The second truth is that I don't want to see anybody today. The last truth is that if you do not leave that gate this moment, you will not leave to tell the story. Why is it being hostile to me? Most of the girls that disappeared without a trace did because they failed to leave when they should. Don't be a fool, Miss Green. Even you? Why is everyone acting so... weird? What the hell is going on? Uh, if you need more money, tell me in good time and it will be provided. I need that child and I need him urgently. I have enough money to execute the project, sir. You will hear from me. Call me as soon as you have the child. Absolutely, I will do that. blood already. That's good. 
So where are you now? On your way to my house. Good. Hope you are coming with the midwife. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, uh, we need her to be here to make sure that the baby will be alive till tomorrow. No, 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 no. I don't need any party in this. Same one who facilitated the process should be our best choice for now. Yes. I am ready to pay more money. Just do whatever you have to do. He delivered in three days. Boyo is indeed good and reliable. <laughs> One who wishes to remain relevant must never undermine his source. The great coven of Omar is my source. And as demanded, I have found the royal blood and I have placed him on the stone of riches. The purity of a child is like a desert. And a desert is like a fertile land that the lesser men have not explored. The fertility of the desert shall bring you the endless wealth of the desert. Wealth like, like the sand of, of the desert. desert. It's what I claim from you virgins of the stone of riches. I have seen the royal blood you placed on the stone of riches. As we cannot count sand on the desert, so shall mortals not be able to count your riches. Thank you very much. Beautiful armor. It's time to strike. Who are you and what are you doing in my temple? Standing before you is something mightier than all the occult temples on earth. The messenger goddess of Akalugo kingdom. And what is my business with you? You cannot kill that child you placed on your so-called stone of riches. For he has a place in my place. Disobey this warning. I will not only set this awkward temple ablaze. I will kill you and cage your soul forever. Where did you get that child? Uh, I engaged one boy called Boyo to get him for me. That child is not the one. Return that child, or you will see the other side of me. Listen to me. I don't care where you got that evil child from. All I need is your replacement. I'm still very surprised, boss. But I can't take him back. Because I've ended the one who bought him. What? That's true, boss. Any mistake of leaving her alive, she will mess things up in future. More than 97% of girls don't know how to keep secrets. Killing that woman has complicated issues for me. That goddess insisted we must take him back. He has a place in her place. I still don't understand what that means. Boss, I can do anything for you. I'll find a way out. Better.
what are you still thinking? I'm just bothered about the whole lot of things. Things like what? I know you've always told me you married me because you love me. That is the truth. You mean the world to me. And finally having you as my wife is the best experience I've ever had so far. Did you listen to the doctor? Anya, that abortion has caused problems for me. The doctor said I may not be able to conceive again. I have told you, it doesn't bother me anymore. See, I caused it because of youthful exuberance. But I know better now. A child will come when a child will come. And if by the will of God none came, I'm okay. I will never allow you ever worried over my blunder. You say the best of things. And you are the best. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Thank you. Uh, so what are you going to do now? This is dangerous and it can lead to death. I am confused, honestly. I don't know where Boyo got that evil child from. Messenger goddess of Akaloko Kingdom. I'm not always comfortable with the gods and goddesses. They are superior to occult and their masters. And their involvement will always spell doom. The way the great Oma ordered me to take him back. Less credence to what you're saying. Honestly, I saw fear in her eyes. You must get a replacement real fast. I do not like this experience at all. Boyo is already on it. He must be the one I must trust on this. So, a goddess is finally getting involved in what we do here. How am I going to get out of this problem? I can't believe I am the one doing this. Pick up an abandoned child and bring Sam home. This is capable of sending my wife and I to prison. Trust me, I am my daughter. I know you are skeptical about this. Extremely skeptical. This is because I am looking at the big picture. What big picture, if I may ask? Babe, families in this country have found themselves on news line on NTA simply because they picked up a child like we did. Possibly because they killed the child. We're not planning to kill the child. We're going to keep him here. And don't claim you don't know why. The complications from the abortion you made me go through have caused problems for me already. This may be a way of having our own child. I understand. But you see, it is not as easy as you think. So what are you saying? That we should take the innocent child back to where he was abandoned? That is not what I am saying. I am just saying that we can we can take the child to the appropriate agency for them to take care of him. Can you hear yourself? Anya, we should take the child out and remain childless. And then at the end, some other persons will just come and adopt the child. Why don't we take care of him? Please. I know we are childless. But I believe we will have our own. Please, Anya, let's embrace this as a blessing. Some other persons would have picked him up, but they didn't. We did. Anya, please. <sighs> Let me go check up on him. Babe, how are you going to raise this child? A child needs breast milk to grow, and you know you don't have that. 
I know what to do. I've already gotten um, milk for the baby and he knows that. And then I'll call the doctor to come check on him. You don't have to worry. You'll be fine. Don't worry. This woman is serious about this. The bundle of joy has gone to sleep. So what do you have to say? Are you sure this is the best decision? Are we still on this? To me, we could have reported this case to the security agency. Or send this child to the motherless baby home. I understand you're scared, my husband. But you don't have to be. We cannot be looking for a child for the past 10 years in our marriage and let this child pass us by. By taking him to the motherless home, let's train him, cater for him. My husband, please, let's just see this child as a blessing to us. And what will people say? Very simple. Very simple. We will tell anyone who cares to know that we adopted him. Nobody will doubt us. Couples do adopt children every now and then. I hope you know what you are going into because I don't want trouble. Okay. What if this child possesses an evil spirit? Or, or better still, if something happens to this child? Oh, please. Just let this matter slide. I am ready to be a mother to this child. And I hope you play your fatherly role very well. Let me go check up on you. I have always wanted what will make you happy. Whatever makes you happy, I am comfortable with it. Now, this is the Mr. Anya, the fearless man I got married to. Thank you. I am glad that you are finally happy. I am. <laughs> Thank you. They killed that moss to silence her and avoid any traces. Then the goddess intervened. Boyu abandoned this boy where you found him. May the gods be praised. This is too much for me. This is too much. This, this mother that gave birth to me, where is she now? We have already resolved that, son. We thank the gods for this ministration. 28 years ago, I rejected a maiden who was pregnant for me. That maiden went through hell with that pregnancy. When she finally put to bed, a so-called nurse came to help her. That nurse stole one of the babies. And that baby is you. This is very complicated. Your Highness, you mean to say that my son here is a twin? Yes. He has a twin sister. Who, by the grace of the gods of Akalugo, has come back to us. Come, my son. As a more, I am very bothered. I am the Ono of Akalugo Kingdom, and ideally, I am the one that people must come to to ask questions on what is happening in the land. 
And I know you know what is happening in this kingdom. No. I said, I don't know anything. I don't know anything at all, and that is why I am bothered. As we speak, there is no heir to the throne. Yes, I agree we have a king. But I, 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 I want us to understand that this man can go to sleep one day and will fail to wake up. He will die from sleep, and we have seen it happen countless number of times in many places. Now, what happens if that becomes the case in this kingdom when there is nobody named as successor to the king, no heir to the throne, and the king dies? Can't you see that that is going to be a disaster in our Kalego kingdom? And that is what I'm trying to avoid. The heir to the throne has emerged. The gods and ancestors of Akalugo have confirmed him. He will be made to leave the four in 14 days from now. Okay. Ezema, are you serious? And who is this heir? The son of the king. And he knows him. They have reconciled after a long gap. Go and tell the king I said this. Even in middle Buddha, Mama Mara. I am sorry for all that has happened lately. Um, but it is good to know that we all have an understanding now. Father. I am happy you are back to your normal self. Thank you. I want to apologize to my queens especially. Sometimes we may just think that life is beyond us. Uh, this happens when we do not tend that due apology in time. But here I am saying I'm sorry. Very, very sorry. <laughs> it's okay, my king. I'm glad everything is in the past now. And um, well, I was thinking we should have a family lunch, of which we will invite Prince Ikenna and the sister, including their mother, so we can rejoice and marry together as one big family. Mm, you have a point right there. <laughs> okay, so you know what? I'll write a check once I have a list. Mm, that's yeah. great. <laughs> well, since I agree with you, I'm sure that my wife agrees with you. So I'm going to leave both of you with my wife in supervision to do what you're supposed to do. <laughs> okay? Uh, I'm also thinking we should actually extend it and make it a royal banquet. Wow. Inviting friends of the family. Consider it done. <laughs> Mom. Mm -hmm. Dad. Yes, son. I want to thank you two for all you've done for me. I'm really grateful. And uh, well, most importantly, I want to tell you that this new status of mine, you know, being the heir to the throne of Akalugo, believe me, it doesn't change a thing about me. Benita and Belinda still remain my beloved sisters. Okay. And the both of you, you, <laughs> you're my mom, mm -hmm. you're my dad. And of course, I'm that same handsome, humble young man you raised. So mm. that ain't gonna change. No, it won't. Believe me. But thank you so much, Dad. Son, you don't need to thank us for anything. We are proud of you. Always proud of you. Thanks, Dad. Thank you, Dad. That's my son. <laughs> son, we are proud that we met you. And we are proud of you as a son. And now that you have found your biological family, we are still happy for you. And we are sure that you are going to represent us very well there. Of course, Mom, I will. And this family remains my family. My main family. Thank you, Dad. I'm really grateful. Thank yeah. you, Dad. Thank you so much. Come, 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 come
Come spend some sleep with me. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't want to miss you. Let me tell you about it. <laughs> I'm so glad to see you happy again. Uh, thank you, my queen. I um, I know that my actions lately has affected my loved ones so much. But I couldn't help it. I was going through a very tough phase in my life. My love, I was ready to go through it with you. But you rather decided to hide everything from me. It's all over now. I'm sorry, my dear. Sorry for everything. I'm glad you are back to your normal life again. My king. I I suggest you make that woman your wife. Why why did you suggest that? I mean, she has been through a lot on your account. The fact that she's still single is something no normal human being should ignore. Please think about what I just suggested. Yeah. Honestly, I think that will be quite an experience for the twins and uh, it should give me an opportunity to right all the wrongs and still be a father to them. But uh, it, it all depends on her. What if she says no? My king, her response will definitely depend on your approach. At least this will give us an opportunity to heal everything. I've always known that you have the heart of God. Thank you. Hey, kid brother. <laughs> oh, I know. Okay, okay, calm down. I'm going to give you a gist. Calm down. Listen, a lot has happened in this family, but the most important thing is that we are good. as a song to you we all miss you but i miss you more <laughs> yes the family has become bigger and father is planning to get another wife no not exactly not exactly it, it can calm down now when you come back i'm sure you will understand the reason and you will support him as well hello he has the right to marry as many wives as he wants. <laughs> Don't worry, when you come back, you will understand. <laughs> okay, okay, that's fine. I miss you. And I love you too, yes. I am glad that we have our children now. Words cannot express how deeply sorry I am. I'm sorry. If I'm a, I know I have wronged you. I ask that you find a place in your heart to forgive me. I beg of you. It is okay, Your Majesty. I have forgiven you a long time ago. I hold nothing against you. How nice. Thank you so much. Honestly, you are a precious gift. <laughs> it is rare to find a woman like you. Thank you so much. I wish I had realized this earlier than now. Thank you anyway. It is okay, my king. I have moved on. I don't want to remember the things I have forgotten. You have your children now with you. And I'm happy for you. Ifoma, I know that you're happy for me. I am glad too that you're happy for me. 
I don't know what else to say, Wayeze. I'm happy. Like I said, I know you are happy. But you will be happier as my queen. Your queen? As in one of your wives? Yes. The third and the last. Please, let's just not go into that. Please. Why? Let's just keep it. Let's just keep it. No, we are not going to skip it, Roma. For I have already discussed this with Queen Ozioma. And she's on with it. She emphatically said that this healing would not be complete except you come to live with us in the palace. She said that? Yes. Listen, I'm not expecting an answer from you right away. You need time. So I'll give you time to think about it. Okay? Um, so I'll be leaving now. You ask my daughter to come and see me off. You said no before and I allowed it. But now, I'm insisting you must eat something in my house. Oh, really? Yes. Well, who am I to say no if the queen insists that um, I eat here? I mean, many royalty know what that means. I'm on for it. Bring the food and we eat. I know about the father of my kids. I don't want to know. Sisters, do this one thing for me, and I will be grateful forever. Well, um, it cannot be argued you are the third wife to the king because you just came in as the new queen. But I would rather call you the second wife and fix myself as the third wife. Oh, Chiwe, please don't make me cry. <laughs> you are the second wife to the king, and we always remember that. Um, I want you to know that you are the mother to the common king. A common king who is so caring and accommodating. Honestly, your place should be given to you, even without waiting for you to ask for it. She went, I'm okay like this. Well, 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 well. I, I see it differently. To me, we are all married to this family. The only family we should have now. Who comes first and who comes last does not really matter to me. Mm -hmm. The most important <laughs> thing is that our husband is happy. Yes. Oh. <laughs> and what's the gist about? What am I missing? What's the gist about? Well, there's no gist. Mm -hmm. Just well, that yes. we, the queens, mm -hmm. are trying to catch up. Mm -hmm. As you and your sister are catching up as princesses. <laughs> <laughs> and the princes are also catching up. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like I'm, that. I'm just happy the way this family turned out. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's nice. I don't yeah. know if any one of you has noticed this striking resemblance between the princesses. Really? Honestly, I am sure it will not be hard for anyone to pinpoint that. Both of you are from the same family. Hmm. Yes, I concur to that sort of issue. Yes, yeah. just like one is black, one is white. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> My friend said white. exactly the same thing. I mean, mm. I can't see any resemblance here. Mm -hmm. But if you all can see it, I mean, who am I? Who am I? <laughs> <laughs> so let's let you all do your queening duties. Mm -hmm. Queening things, okay? Yes. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm so happy for my daughter. Oh, oh. <laughs> Finally enjoying a brother and a sister. It's indeed an awesome experience. It is. <laughs> it is. You look amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> so tell me, you've been job hunting? Um, not a serious one though. I'm still concentrating on my MSc. It doesn't matter. You will begin work tomorrow morning. Are you joking with me right now? Why should I joke? I'm the CEO, my dear. And you can never get a better job than this. Oh, thank you so much. 
Honestly, you do not have to thank me. You're going to be in an executive position and you'll be needing a secretary. So let's look at it this way. From looking for a job to becoming an employer. How about that? I know, sis. I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Thank so, you. So, I mean, look at it this way. And yes, we love you too. <laughs> hey, brother. Uh, Akalu go kingdom. It's good to see you two together, <laughs> honestly. To see. <laughs> so, uh, I'd like to let you guys know that this man standing right here is a superman. Mm. He has good again. plans, not just for the palace, but for the kingdom at large. Ooh. There we go again. Tell us about it. <laughs> Sweet seeds. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Tell us about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, actually, I was just telling my, my brother here. Mm, I like that. <laughs> that uh, I have some ideas to expand the company. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, get us to make more money than you are making right now that's because we're in competition <laughs> <laughs> uh, well i know someday we will all have to address him as my king oh, 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 my cute swing brother oh there so cute hey hey our brother, our brother. Our brother. Our brother. wash your hand in the waters of the Kamali means you go live in a many theater and milly. See, Kalaka, you broke it. Oh, my lemme, all that one. Oh, my lemme. Live to this offer to confirm that the gods of Akaluga and ancestors of Akaluga have accepted you as crown prince. <laughs> this is the crown or the crown piece of Akalu. Give it to you. The crown as the future king of Akamu. <laughs> this is the verdict of the gods. Here before the Ezemo, in this will be of Akalugo Kingdom. Right before the offer of Akalugo. I crown you the Crown Prince of Akalugo Kingdom. <laughs> you will reign after your father. Oh, my God. 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 O